हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कॉस्ट एंड विलिंगनेस टू सेल इमेजिन नाउ दैट यू आर अ होम ओनर एंड यू वांट टू गेट योर हाउस पेंटेड यू टर्न टू फोर सेलर्स ऑफ पेंटिंग सर्विसेज मैरी फ्रीडा जॉर्जिया एंड ग्रैंडमा Each painter is willing to do the work for you if the price is right. You decide to take bids from the four painters and auction off the job to the painter who will do the work for the lowest price. So basically आपने auction रखा है इसके लिए और आपने bid लगाने शुरू करी आप ये काम उस painter को देंगे जो lowest price के लिए इस काम को करेगा So basically you auction off the job to the painter who will do the work for the lowest price each painter is willing to take the job if the price she would receive exceeds her cost of doing the work to har ek painter job lena chahega agar jo price use mil raha hai if the price she would receive exceeds agar jo price use mil raha hai it is greater than the cost of doing the work Here the term cost should be interpreted as the painter's opportunity cost. It includes the painter's out of pocket expenses that is the explicit cost for example for paint brushes and so on as well as the value that the painters place on their own time. So basically yahan par humne ek word use kiya tha cost. Is cost ka matlab hai painter ki opportunity cost. Dekhiye jab hum cost ki baat karte hain to do tarike ki cost hoti hain. Ek explicit cost explicit cost which includes all the monetary expenses for example uh, for paint brushes and so on and the other one is implicit cost implicit cost which is basically the opportunity cost what is opportunity cost that the value that the painters place on their own time because because that time could have been used for other purposes painters could have used that time for doing other task so that is the implicit cost that is the opportunity cost here we have these four sellers mary frida georgia and grandma and their cost of doing the work because a painter's cost is the lowest price she would accept for her work cost is a measure of her willingness to sell her services so if we talk about this cost this is the lowest price dollar 900 is the lowest price that mary would accept to do the work agar jo ye uh, agar jo price usse mil raha hai wo is dollar 900 se kam hoga If the price that Mary would receive is less than this dollar nine hundred, then Mary will refuse to sell her services. Same case with the Frida. This cost of dollar eight hundred is the lowest price that Frida would accept to do the work. If the price that she will receive is less than dollar eight hundred, then Frida will refuse to work. And that is the reason we can consider this cost as a measure of willingness willingness to sell willingness to sell her services it is a measure of willingness to sell the services so we can have three cases first case if the price that seller would receive is greater than the cost of doing the work for example the price that seller uh, would receive is dollar 20 it is greater than the cost of doing the work which is dollar 10 definitely if the seller is receiving a, a price higher than the cost of doing the work then that seller will be eager to sell her services second case if the price that the seller would receive 
is less than the cost of doing the work. For example, the price that seller receive is dollar ten, but the cost of doing that task is dollar twenty. In that case, seller will refuse to sell her services. And third case can be if the price that seller receive is equal to the cost of doing the work. In that case, seller would be indifferent. He would be equally happy taking the job or uh, using her time, time and energy for other for another purposes. So the seller would be indifferent in this case. When you take bids from the painters, the price might start high, but it quickly falls as the painters compete for the job. Once grandma has bid $600 or slightly less, she is the sole remaining bidder. Grandma is happy to do the job for this price because her cost is only $500. On the other hand, Mary, Frida and Georgia are unwilling to do the job for less than $600. Let's understand this theory part with the help of a table. So basically they are saying that when grandma will bid $600 or slightly less in that case Mary, Frida and Georgia will drop out of the auction because if we talk about Mary, her cost of doing the work that is $900 it is greater than $600 right. So in this case Mary will refuse to sell her services. Same if we talk about Frida. Her cost of doing the work that is $800 it is greater than $600 that, uh, right. So again Frida will also refuse to sell her services and same is the case with Georgia because if grandma will bid $600 or slightly less. Slightly less means for example $599. In that case, again, the cost of doing the work is greater than the price that Georgia will receive. So Georgia will also refuse to sell her services. So there will be only one bidder. This is uh, this will be the sole remaining bidder, grandma, in this case, because her cost of providing the services is less than $600 or slightly less. Okay, so we will have only one seller in this case, that is grandma. What benefit does grandma receive from getting the job? Because she is willing to do the work for $500 but gets $600 for doing it, we say that she receives a producer surplus of $100. So if we talk about the producer surplus because Mary, Frida and Georgia have already dropped out of the auction. If we talk about the producer surplus of grandma, the price that she will receive is $600, right? Minus the cost of doing the services is $500. So basically grandma has received a, has received a producer surplus of $100. Producer surplus is the amount that a seller is paid minus the cost of production. So in our case, seller is grandma. Okay. The amount that a seller is paid, it is uh, $600 minus the cost of production. The cost of uh, doing the services was $500. So $600 minus $500, it is $100. This is the producer surplus of grandma. Producer surplus measures the benefit that sellers receive from participating in a market. Now consider a somewhat different example. Suppose that now you have two houses that need painting. Again, you auction off the job to the four painters. So again, we have these uh, four sellers, Mary, Frida, Georgia and Grandma and their cost of uh, doing the services. 
to keep things simple let's assume that no painter is able to paint both houses and that you will pay the same amount to paint each house so basically apne concept ko simplify karne ke liye hum yahan pe assumption le rahe hain that no painter is able to paint both houses and second assumption that you will pay the same amount to paint each house therefore the price falls until two painters are left in this case the bidding stops when georgia and grandma each offer to do the job for a price of dollar 800 or slightly less georgia and grandma are willing to do the work at this price while mary and frida are not willing to bid a lower price let's understand this theory part with the help of a table so basically when georgia and grandma bid for dollar 800 or slightly less in that case mary and frida will drop out of the auction because if we talk about mary her cost of providing the services is greater than dollar 800 so mary will refuse to sell her services same is the case with frida if georgia and grandma bid slightly less than dollar 800 then definitely frida will also refuse to sell her services so there will be only two sellers in this case georgia and grandma because if we talk about georgia her cost of dollar 600 is less than the price they will receive same is the case with grandma her cost of providing the services is less than the price they will receive and if we talk about the producer surplus because mary and frida has already dropped out of the auction so there will be no producer surplus for them producer surplus for georgia will be the price that they will receive is dollar 800 minus the cost of providing the services which is dollar 600 so the producer surplus for georgia is dollar 200 and if we talk about grandma the price that grandma will receive is dollar 800 minus the cost of providing the services which is dollar 500 it is equal to dollar 300 and the total producer surplus will be dollar 500 the total producer surplus in the market is dollar 500 clear Thank you.